Yo, what's up, guys? This is Mango Jordan here, back with another video. And today, I'm going to be reviewing the Bowser figure from SH Figurons, I think it is. Uh, I just usually say figures. Uh, along with the minions that I got that I didn't do a review on. Because, uh, like, it was late at night and I got them, and there was, like, no time for a video or anything. But, uh, we're gonna judge Bowser on his. Well, let's just take that guy off. Uh,. First, we're going to look at the box. It's a very big box, like, box-like box, I, I guess I could say, compared to the uh, other figures. Uh, inside, we got the usual, like, weird little thing, like, with the, the brick, and then the, uh, the, the question block, and then mushroom and coins going up at, as in, like, a staircase position. On top, we got coins, question blocks, bricks, and then you can see Bowser in there. Um, in the front, we got the warning sign, the where the figure comes from, the company. Uh, you can see everything. Then you got a little thing of Fire Mario and Bowser fighting off. I also do have the Fire Mario. Like I said, came in late. I didn't have a time to do a review. Um, on the back, we got the red pipe. Um, Bowser and Mario about to face off. Mario basically looks terrified. Uh, you can see everything that's in here. Uh, on there. It's all in Japanese writing, so I have no idea what it's saying. And you have Mario jumping over Bowser's fireball. Then you just got the uh, Mario running away from Bowser. <laughs> and then on the other side, we got coins, mushrooms, bricks, a little Goomba. Like so. Let's see, take a look at that. Just kidding. Alright. So, so that's the box. Also on the bottom, it just has uh, more Japanese writing. Um... But yeah, so let's go ahead and crack this bad boy up. He looks huge compared to the other figure, so I'm gonna open him up and let's see how big this figure really is. Alright, so I finally got him open. Uh, it took me about like five minutes to get him open because like, there's tiny tape and I just hate that, what they do. So let's just go ahead and open this one-handed style. I say let's just go ahead and put the camera down and grab this. There we go. So you can now see all of his, like, I'm just going to move the minions and stuff over there. So you can pretty much see, sorry for the boringness, you can pretty much see uh, the huge Bowser in it. He doesn't come with much, uh, like, accessories as much of the other, other characters do, like Mario and Luigi. Especially Yoshi. Yoshi definitely has the most. Um, so you got an extra set of claws. Uh, like, like that, mostly. Uh, I got an extra jaw. I think that's for putting the fire in. Oh, wait, no. I think that just comes on. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and open this part up. Oh, I can actually do that one-handed. But everything is falling. Oh. Right, so, you got him in a little bag. And oh, my gosh. You do not know how heavy this figure is. Let's go ahead and take, like, all this stuff off him. If you can't really see that got like, like like little like things on him I don't um you know what I mean I don't know uh, I can't talk today like usual ah uh, this is so hard actually cuz like it's around like a spike oh I just turned his arm um can you like bend his arm oh you can't so you can only go like it's like I will rule this land or something like that I'm not just doing my Bowser voice. Uh, so you can't... Oh, oh, okay. Uh, the spikes are actually really spiky. Uh, so let's do, go ahead and count his articulation. I think you can, like, move his jaw right here. Just, like, a bit. To look like he's talking. Like, let's go to do that. Um. Yeah. You can, like, obviously see how, like, he has, like, his little, like, shell spikes. Kind of like how this is compared to that, if you can see that. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go get 
something to show you how much like he looks how like they've improved his look it's not another bowser figure like this is my first ever bowser figure oh he's got like a little place for him to hold also got his nice tail this is actually a really heavy figure compared to mario like let's actually compare them on size wise why is he like this Let's just go ahead and put it down. And Mario is way more easier to move than Bowser. Because, like, you got to, like, just take it and, like, like, yeah. So, let's go ahead and compare how tall they are. So, Mario is about to, like, that line of his shell. Head-wise, he's about, like, to, like, his horns right here. Um, side-wise, yeah, to the spikes. But let me go grab the thing. Alright, so I got the thing. It's a Mario Party uh, disc. But, like, the thing that I like about how you can actually see Bowser in this is you can, like, kind of see, like, his little spiky look. Like, not spiky. Uh, like, his, like, little scaly look. Same with the figure. Same with the figure. And then, I think on the back... Well, you can't really see. Uh, but you actually can see, like, the markings along with on here on the shell. Um, but yeah, I think you can actually kind of, like, grab, no. If you have, like, the clay thing that most people use in stop motion. But that also gives me a good chance to talk. Um, now that I actually have this Bowser figure, I'm actually working on stop motion. I'm taking, like, a little class. And the, and this, like, Mario series, like, like, the whole S-H figure on things, that's going to be, uh, my next, my next series. In stop motion, uh, me and my partner are going to be working. Partner, like my partner. Yeah, you can like move his head around. So let's go ahead and count the articulations. I can't count it with only one hand, so I'm going to put the camera down for a sec. So Bowser has eight articulations. So it's a head, both arms, hands, legs, and then feet. So yeah, so one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, nine. Wait, hang on. Sorry, I need to recount again. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh, I just told it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright, so it's nine. He has nine articulation. But Mario has like about ten. So like he's just like itching on like the whole thing can't turn his shell or you can't turn his tail but yeah he has nine articulation so yeah it's a really nice figure on the other hand uh so let's go ahead and count his art uh our accessories sorry all right so we got so we got two claws which are like coming out like that i really thought that he would have fist as one of the, like the things has a really, really, really nice fireball going. You can just, like, go ahead and put that in his mouth. I'm going to put all this stuff on later. I think this is, like, to open his mouth up more. But yeah, so he's got one, two, three, four. He's got four. So not as many as I actually thought. But still, he is a really good figure. So I'm going to put... I'm going to try to put everything on except for, you know, the, the jaws on. So, let me go put that on. Jeez, that's weird. Alright, so this is him with the open, uh, like, hands compared to, like, his normal hands. You can, like, see how his, his three fingers come out like that. And, like, you can see how his jaw is more open than this would be. I could tell which one is which, but, like, I just, like, put it in just, like, a bit, and then I would take it out. But I didn't have to. I got it on first try. But he is pretty more fierce with his mouth open and claws out. But the thing that I'm really looking forward to is this hunk of hot. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, but, yeah, so, so his claws are now more open. I'm going to... Try to put it, put in the other hand, the another another hand, uh, the the fire, 
Uh, this thing looks really dangerous. So I'm gonna put it in. I'm just gonna put the camera down since it should be short. It's pretty hard actually to take everything out. But let's just go ahead and put that in. Ah, there we go. I uh, just put him in like a little action thing, put his arms back in. Fire coming out. Like, you would think that this would hurt his breath, but. Yeah, if you do. So, this is what it's like when, like, his fire is, like, all coming out. But you can also take Fire Mario's fireball, wherever that is. Let me find it. There we go. Like, if you just wanted to have, like, a just a regular fireball, you can just, like, take this and then, like, launch it. Also, here's the Fire Mario, just to show it off. So, yeah, same height as Mario, same mouth, same everything. I'm not going to do that. This is all about Bowser right here. So, yeah. Definitely, like, more dangerous with his fire out and claws out. Also, I think I said in my Luigi and Yoshi video, I think I was going to say that uh, I was doing one on a, like a Sonic figure that was really good. But nope, it wasn't good. It was all scratchy. I hate it. I'm going to return it. Like, definitely. It was horrible. Like, I got a very bad one. But I think you can actually turn his tail. It's kind of curved. But I think that's also just to, like, move his feet and everything. But I'm surprised, I'm surprised that they didn't give you extra feet. But I can also kind of see why. There's really no point. But yeah, so... Let's move on to, like, the last two pros and cons and uh warnings so yeah let's go ahead and uh go to that so here are the pros and cons about this just an amazing figure i basically all have pros also there's one more thing like i saw that this was in here but he was also supposed to come with a stand um i'll check the thing oh here it is so let me go ahead and grab that I'll just grab that later. Um, but so pros, for, so pros and cons. Also, that I, I guess you can count that as five articulation. Uh, not articulation. Uh, accessories. But pros and cons. So pros. This is a huge figure, and I love that. I love huge figures. I I like like I really. Uh, if you are collecting the whole uh series, like I am. Definitely get this. Get this now. It is available on Amazon and eBay and like all places where you can shop. But get him. Get him now. It is a great figure. Um, got a lot of articulations for pros. Uh, you can like obviously see like like where they like definitely set everything for Bowser. And that's what I loved. Like, I thought it was just going to be, like, a smooth thing. But, nope. He's, like, all, like, kind of branchy, I guess I could say. And, like, scaly. And that's what that's what I was really looking forward to. Uh, this actually arrived on Tuesday. But I'm uploading this so late because I was on vacation. I was in San Diego. But this is definitely a great figure. Uh, yeah. Um, you can, like... The paint job is definitely amazing. I see no mistakes whatsoever. Like, his neck is actually pretty long, but I see no painting mistakes whatsoever. It's great. Uh, cons. I don't like how you can't actually, like, move this part as, like, you can for other figures like Mario and stuff. That's, like, the same with the legs. Also... The tail, actually, no, I guess the tail doesn't really matter, but I didn't really like that. Like, I was really looking forward to that, too, but you can kind of do so. But, actually, yeah, I think you can. Yeah, pretty much, but I just wanted to see, like, you can actually fold it there. Uh, another con that I have is whenever you move his head, he makes, like, a sound like this. Like that. Like, don't be worried. I don't think there's anything to do with it. Let me just move it back. There you go. So it is pretty easy to move his head. Just when you first get him, his head is going to snap just a bit. Uh, like that. Like it was doing so. 
Also, get the minions. Get, like, the Koopa. Get everything. Also, they, I think they just came out with set E. I'm, I don't really know. I'm not really looking for sets. I'm mostly looking for characters like Bowser and Mario and Luigi. And, yeah. I think the next... I don't know the next character. I really hope it's Princess Peach. Because Bowser and Princess Peach would, would be great. Um... But yeah, they they came out with uh, Yoshi and Luigi at the same time, so I really hope that they have Bowser and Peach at the same time. But yeah, that's pretty much like that's pretty much it for cons. Oh, actually, there's a little spot right there, but it's like barely even noticeable. That's I bet that's just for like something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I don't really care. Great figure. Uh, warnings. I actually don't really have any warnings. It's just too great of a figure. Um, but yeah, I don't. I really don't have any warnings. Well, I guess this, but that's not really a warning. There aren't any warnings except for like the one on the box that says like small, like small parts and whatever. Not for children under three. Let's face it. They're like. They're probably not going to be doing that. Uh, but yeah, I have no warnings, um, unless you count him beating Mario or something. But let's face it, Mario always wins. Uh, but yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for the Bowser uh, figure review. If you want to see more, go ahead and slap that like button. Oh, there we go. Uh, but yeah, so I'm back. I'm going to be probably making more videos uh, and stuff. Uh, also, yeah, so for the stop motion thing, I am I need your guys' opinion. Do you want me to, like, go all out and make, like, a huge set for, like, a story like Mario against Bowser and, like, stuff like that? Or do you just want me to, like, do things, like, around the house and stuff? Kind of like, like, Super Mario Fables and, like... I think it's like Mario's Room Outcome or something like that. Uh, I've been watching that too. But yeah, so if you go ahead and tell me in the comments. Uh, to me, I'm probably going to do go all out and make a set because I really want to do a story. Uh, but yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring out the other characters from the... That I've done. Here's Yoshi. Let's grab Mario and Fire Mario and Luigi. There we go. Um, put him, put them, let's put them in this huge bunch. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. More videos coming soon. If you did like this video, go ahead and slap that like button. And hopefully, if they do come with a peach, I will immediately make a review uh, on this. Also, I just want, I don't know why, I just wanted to grab this. I also got, like, a little toad figure. Uh, but he's not part of the SH, so... Uh, so guys, if you did like this video, go ahead and like that, slap that like button. Uh, if you want me to do more reviews, slap that like button, tell me in the comment section. Please, please, please tell me what do you want. Do you want me to do a huge thing? A huge review? I right, not review, um, set. Or do you want me to just stick, like, the basics and, uh, take it easy on me? But... I really kind of hope you do say, uh, to go all out, because I really want to make a set, I really want to do a story, I'm probably going to do that if I don't get enough reviews, but it's, right now it's basically up to you guys, but yeah, so guys, thank you guys so much for watching, this is Angry Jordan signing out, peace.